Hey there, Wire user. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create effect stacks in Wire for Arena and Avenue. Let's start by discussing what an effect stack actually is. Here I am in Arena and I find myself using the U Rotate, Invert RGB and Saturation effects all the time for some simple color changes. I would like to combine all these effects into one simple effect and cut out everything I don't need. So let's make a wish list. I don't need opacity sliders and blend modes for each effect. I don't need the hue scale and saturation scale, I just want to shift the current hue. I don't need the invert RGB sliders, I just want to press a button and invert. I only want to desaturate, this could be a simple toggle too. And finally, instead of an opacity slider for each effect, I want one master opacity slider not only for the effect but the entire clip. That's quite a wish list, but in a moment you will see how easy it is to achieve. Let's jump into Wire and build this. The slider for each effect. I want one master opacity slider, not only for the effect, but the entire clip. That's quite a wish list, but in a moment you will see how easy it is to achieve. Let's jump into Wire and build this. To create an effect in Wire, you need to do at least the following three things. First, create a texture in node. This represents the clip, layer or composition that the effect is applied to. Secondly, you need to create a texture out node. This is how the texture looks after it is being processed by our effect. And finally, in the patch panel, set a category to effect. Now Arena knows to interpret this patch as an effect and it will show up under the effects panel later. Let's start by building the effect chain itself. First we require a hue rotate node. There, done. Next we want to invert the RGB, so we need an invert RGB node. And that's done too. Now we want the option to grayscale the texture. We could go with a saturation node and set the value to minus one. But Wire has, in my humble opinion, a better option in the form of the grayscale node. I think this is a better option, as the grayscale node has a whole bunch of different algorithms for how desaturation is handled. I'll leave it as is, but you should definitely experiment. We also wanted a way to take control over the clip's opacity. For this, I'll create the replace alpha node and hook it up to the rest of our chain. So, now we have our chain up and ready to go. Now let's add some interactive elements. For the U rotate, I only want the actual U rotate slider. I'll right click on the node, hit expose inputs and delete all the inputs I don't need. And I'm done. For the invert RGB and grayscale nodes, I just want to be able to toggle them on and off. I'll select both nodes, right click either of them and under the visibility tab, select show all properties. This reveals the bypass inlet. The next step is to create a boolean in node. This will be our toggle. But if we connect it directly to the bypass, it will bypass when toggled on. I think it would be a lot nicer if when toggled on, the effect would actually turn on. So we need to flip the boolean value. True has to be false and false has to be true. For this, we introduce the not node, which does exactly that. Let's patch it up and test it out. That works nicely. Lastly, we have the replace alpha node. Again, I'll right click it, expose the inputs. I'll rename the node by double clicking it. Next, I move to the dashboard panel to set the default values and order of parameters. I want the clip opacity to be on top, followed by the hue rotation and then the toggle buttons. U rotate should default to 0, clip opacity should default to 1, and the toggle buttons should be off. This is a nice default preset, as it does nothing until you start changing things. Now I'll save it, and I can close wire. In Arena, under the wire effects, I find my new color effect. Let's throw that onto a clip and test it out. That works nicely. Of course, this is just the beginning. You could add triggers to strobe parameters, add more effects, mix existing effects with effects of your own making, and add weird modulations, and so forth. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.